So welcome to another how-to video. Today we're going to be looking at how to set up the operator customizable settings on the next-gen mini hydraulic excavators. These are standard on all of our next-gen mini hydraulic excavators from 1 ton through to 10 ton. Now in the main monitor you go in, you go into control mode and one of the first customizable settings you're going to see is fine grading. The other operator customizable settings is implement speed. We're going to show you that. You can change the speed of the whole linkage or you can change one individual function at a time. Same with joystick response. You can change the whole response to the system or you can change one response at a time. So let's get up in the machine and show you how to set those settings. In order to get to those operator settings, you go to the main menu, you go to machine settings, you go to control mode, and then you see fine grading. If I go on the fine grading, right now it's disabled, and I can go ahead and enable it. So what does fine grading do? Fine grading lets the machine know that you've got a heavy attachment on it. If you were to install a TRS system onto this machine, it knows it's a heavy config and the hydraulics will compensate for that heavy config. However, if you put a thumb on it, a coupler, and a real heavy grading bucket, or a heavy hammer, the machine doesn't necessarily know you've got a heavy config on it. So you could go into the monitor and turn fine grading on. So now that we've enabled fine grading, because we believe we've got a heavy config on this machine, we can go into implement speed. If we look at implement speed, it's in normal. That is how we ship the machine. This is the hold linkage speed. It can be normal, fast, or slow. We can change any of those, change everything at once, or we can go into the advanced setting. And in the advanced setting, we could go into the stick, and we could make the stick fast. So why would we do this? If we were truck loading and going from trench to dump truck, we could make the stick priority fast so that we're clearing the side of that truck a whole lot easier and be more productive but we're gonna turn that one back to normal. So we've set the stick speed back to normal. Now with these next gen machines, the swing can be a little bit far for some people. So you might wanna think with the swing, you want to slow the swing down. So we're gonna make the swing slow and we're gonna hit the home button. So everything else is normal, but swing is slow. But if we go back into the menu and we go into those machine settings, we go in the control mode and now we go down to joystick response most of the time joysticks response is going to be normal now joysticks response is how your brain works to your hands to work how the machine control works most people are just going to operate in normal however if you've made this swing slow to get more controllability you want the joystick response for swing to be fast because that way it's going to control slow itself down and it's going to show down quicker so right now the machine is in normal uh, swing speed and normal response. And so what happens when we come up to this wall on here, I go out, we go to slow down, and you see I can't stop it, we drift into that wall and we hit the wall. And we'll just try that one more time. So we swing up, we come off the joystick, and we still hit that wall a little bit. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to change the settings in the swing. I'm going to go into my main menu, machine settings, control mode. I'm going to go into implement speed, I'm going to go into advanced, and I'm going to make my swing control slow. And then I'm going to come back, I am going to go into my joystick response, which is in normal at the moment. I'm going to go into the advanced, and I'm going to make the swing control fast. So now when I swing back to the wall again, I swing, and when let go, it stops me away from the wall. So it's uh, moving slower and responding quicker. So I hope that gives you a bit of insight into how to use the customizable operator settings on the next gen mini hydraulic excavators. There's no right or wrong. Customize that machine just for you. Remember the settings are per machine, not per operator, but you can set that machine to be just the way that you want it. Look out for more how-to videos and also, if you want further information, contact your local cat dealer.